My question is simple. In nuclear fission and fusion, a small amount of matter is lost and converted to a large amount of energy. Is the gravity associated with the lost mass also lost? No, because, great question by the way, gravity emanates not only from mass, but also from energy. Because mass and energy are the same thing, different sides of the same coin. So you're not just losing mass and not energy. You're losing some combination of the two, and they go hand in hand. So the answer is no. Is the gravity associated with the loss? No. And that can never vary. I mean, th this is this is a con this is a constant. This can never this the what, idea what? that that gravity associated with the lost mass is also lost. Oh, matter and energy are one and the same thing. Mm -hmm. So they each distort the fabric of space and time, and that's all you need to know about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. We will commonly think of matter distorting space, but if there's energy there, it will distort space as well. And equals mc squared reminds us that they are two sides of the same coin. The, the more the amount of energy is created is, is the same amount of gravity lost. In other words, like the mass lost is gravity associated with the lost mass is also lost. You lose more gravity, the more energy that's created. If it leaves the system, yes, you're losing, you're losing gravity anytime any matter or energy leaves the system. No, I know, but doesn't it sure to all change over time? And, you know, depending on the amount of energy that's created. The more energy that's created, the more gravity is lost. No? Yes. But the it's a lot of energy and a very small amount of mass, so I wouldn't lose sleep over it. Well, listen, it's up to me what I lose sleep over. Just because you walk through life not caring about <laughs> science the way I do, I can't. It is weird, though, that humans, for one-third of a rotation of the Earth, are semi-comatose. <laughs>